Today we are going to discuss the topic phases of the compilation process. At the end of this session, student will be acquainted with the six phases used by a compiler to convert a source program to a target code. Before we start with the topic, let us get acquainted with the basic terminologies related to our discussion. The first terminology is system software. These are softwares made for a system to give the desired results as expected by a user. They cannot be modified by a user because they have certain specifications that the system can understand. There is a semantic gap between the application domain and the execution domain due to the human being not able to understand the machine and the machine not able to understand the human. The human speaks and understands in a natural language and the machine only understands the language of zeros and ones, yes and no, true and false. Programming languages introduced by software engineering deals with the specification in the application domain and converts them into a source program which is very close to English called a higher level language. A compiler converts this source program to a machine code which can be further converted to a language understood by the machine. The third term we have to consider is the phases. There are a number of complicated tasks to be performed and converted which is required the source code to the machine code. Therefore we divide the task into simpler steps that are manageable and have a defined input and output. These steps are termed as phases. The input of a compiler is a source code and the output is a target program, sometimes called object code, which has to be linked and loaded before to generate the machine executable code. The object code contains all the requirements which is required by the linker and the loader. Let us now pause and think for a while on what steps or phases are required to generate a target code from a source program. Keep in mind that the translation should not change the meaning of the source program. The six phases of compilation are lexical analysis, syntax analysis, semantic analysis, generation of intermediate code, code optimization and target code generation. These phases are involved with a symbol table and an error handler. The symbol table records all the identifiers used in a source program. It has information about them like storage allocation, type and the scope and where in the program they are valid. In procedure name information about number and types of its arguments, method of passing and type returned. The error handler detects errors at every phase to reduce the errors in subsequent phases. The lexical analyzer reads the program characters of the source and groups them into a stream of tokens that are logically connected. The character sequence forming a token is finally called a lexeme for the token. Lexemes may sometimes have values attached to them. Syntax analysis checks the token rules against the rules for syntax of the programming language grammar. It reveals syntax ambiguities. A properly designed grammar is used for translation of source program 
into correct object code and there is detection of errors. Semantic analysis that follows syntax analysis assigns meaning to the code syntax. It is an extension to syntax analysis. It develops a hierarchical structure on the token stream input from the lexical analysis and is represented in a proper format called as a syntax tree. The internal node is a record with a field for an operator and the two fields containing pointers to the field from left to right children. A leaf is a record with two or more fields, one to record a token and other to give the information. It uses parsing techniques. It prepares for the type or error checking involving lexical errors, syntax errors, and logical errors. An intermediate code is finally generated for an abstract machine. Intermediate code generation is the phase that follows syntax and semantic analysis. Intermediate code should be easy to produce and easy to translate into the target program. It may be in the form of a three address code consisting of a sequence of instructions, each for which has at the most three operands. Other forms containing quadruples are also possible. Code optimization refers to the improvement of this intermediate code which is created. And in the previous phases, an orientation is given that this intermediate code may be optimized by certain methods which are called as optimization techniques. Here we improve intermediate code with global and local operations like removing dead code, constant folding, loop invariance, etc., which results in faster running machine code. In code generation phase, we generate target code consisting of relocatable machine code or assembly code. Memory locations are selected for each of the variables used by the program. Intermediate code instructions are each translated into a sequence of machine instructions that perform the same task. A crucial aspect is the assignment to registers where the actual data is stored. For my references, I have used the following. Thank you.